that's blueberry. What was the one with the black bucket? That's a blueberry. 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 Strawberry, strawberry up front. That one I think is the raspberry with the greenish bucket. Yes. This one's strawberry. The wall is blueberry. Blueberry. Two lettuce. Lettuce. Right there. Then one, two, three is peppers here. See, that's a pepper. That's a pepper in that little pepper, thing. Pepper. Then tomatoes. We got one, two, three. Tomato, tomato. And then we're going to put the tomato too. We make another one with that side. And this is mostly weeds, obviously, for the big tall things don't go there. But you can see that rhubarb plant with these huge leaves. And this one's starting to turn a little bit red. But Robin's going to do all that, and there's two more tomato plants. Okay. Which one's right there? Shalom family, this is Faith having fun on a trampoline. Say hi Faith. Hi, Shalom. Shalom. Look at this thing is huge. I don't know how you can bounce after everything we did. Alright you guys, me, Dan, Robin are fitting to pack up and leave. So I'm just gonna walk around and check everything. This is closed up. So glad we finally have propane, that's awesome. Mm, there's this, I'm gonna hang that um, shower curtain up on a line, I'll show you that in a minute. There's our supplies, we emptied out the tent and then put the tent over our supplies as a covering. And we organized this stuff. This is our garden glove basket. These aren't garden gloves though. That's um, like hospital gloves. There's some wires. I took my um, cut up hula hoops and put them around like that. That was Dan's idea. And me and Robin put these stones down. So we have little paths here. And I moved the solar lights out of the box and put them in here. Robin weeded the garden and put her mulch down. That's three bags of mulch for like $15 in this whole thing so far and these flowers look beautiful with these stones around it and I started weed whacking a little bit not back here as you can probably tell um, but over here I did a little bit we put this in um, I don't know what she did with the weeds but I filled up a five pound bucket with weeds that she dug out of there as you can see, I weed whacked a bunch of these ferns back there. But the weed whacker is like shorting or something. So it dies in like less than 10 seconds. So we have all this. This is the line that I hung up to use as like a clothesline. Um, but the problem is the sun is out here. And out here, there's no trees because it's a clearing. So all these branches shade this, um, but before it was thrown over something like a pallet. And so I was like, yeah, let me do that. And plus the purpose of it actually being here is for me to put my shower curtain over it and then my hammock under it and a mosquito net in between both of those and um, be able to sleep out here, but still like look up and see the stars and also be comfortable and not eaten alive by mosquitoes all night. But I don't, I mean, I might have to move this. These trees are kind of skinny. Um, you can barely see the bikes out there, but that's what we got. The deck is stained. There's Dan and Robin ready to leave. There's our fire pit that has some trash in it. 
Thank you. I need those glasses to drive. Definitely need this scarf. I'll leave my bug spray right there. There's the trampoline. I got to jump on it and that was a lot of fun. There's the garden cart. We moved like a bunch of food into the storage camper. And uh... Hey, there's one thing. Down on the road earlier in my video. Yeah. That, and your people saying it's a big pile of rocky dirt at the beginning. That's not waste, that's leftover material. And um, so Liberty, what we'll do is where he ended, we'll dig up, grade the road up to it, and you can you got at least another 10 to 20 feet of uh, material we can lay out. And then the last 30 feet, brother, I'm gonna cut down three good-sized trees, get some 30-foot sections, and we're gonna build a beautiful bridge. I'll mill with a chainsaw, the three sides, we can clip them together, and we'll have a nice, Cool log wood bridge, I'll put railings on the side. It'll be tight. And that'll bring us right into the tight hill. And then we can just touch this stuff up here. So we think I think we got what we need to finish the road. We just gotta work. The tree's gonna be like this big, right? Yeah, I'll be down. getting a That's nice big, big logs like this and make a logging bridge. Yeah. It'll hold a tractor trailer. It's a pretty big tree. We should be able to do it all in, in the three days uh, coming up soon when we get together here. And Faith will be with us. Yay, it's gonna be so fun! And we'll put the drain pipes in the road in two spots. And maybe have a spot where there's a river or stream that's going over the bridge. And this spot here, once we pitch it, could be a steady stream. But you see what I mean? We'll go log, log right over there. And dig down and make a brook, or we'll put a pipe in. And then here we'll clean it up and we'll put gravel through it. Put a big pile down the end up. And then we'll have another small spot here and we're gonna do another bridge. With the other pipe brother right here. The cold and, uh, right. and we'll go right in. <coughs> and we'll have enough gravel in that pile to cover all this when we're dealing with it. We have right culverts there. too left from the previous owner of the land. I'm all done for that video. I just wanted to put that in because I messed up a mine. Okay. Well, here's all of our pallets. There's three piles so far. And then all these ones. And we grade the whole road for us, Liberty. <laughs> beginning up to here and then we can shovel that mound on the dump truck and I'll back it up and I'll dump it right in where we need it as we go. I'll show you both the mounds of materials. Well, the first thing is dirt. Right here, right? Isn't this what you were talking about? That's the that's the waste material. <laughs> yeah, that's everything he took off of the road. I know. between the two bridges and um, spot here and there we got it, even on the hill. So on, uh, we're looking good. Okay, that's all show on. Subscribe to my channel. Shalom, I just wanted to say, I'm check this out. We have update I'm gonna try to be quick um, we went to see Marsha Marble also today and pay her seventeen hundred and fifty dollars and we discussed the closing costs which is gonna be about seven hundred and we may not need a power of attorney but we don't know yet um, we're waiting on the seller's attorney to answer that question for us and um, yeah, so that was fun, but I didn't record it, so I have to put that at the end of the vlog um, because we were like talking to her and like, you don't always have to record every conversation in your whole life. <laughs> um, even though I do that a lot, like people get really annoyed when you do that all the time. So anyway, that's something that we also did today. Um, I'm editing right now and it is so much fun. I am so so glad I can edit videos because they are 
like a little bit higher quality content with that and it's so nice to be able to take out all of my that I do <laughs> in all my videos and like yeah so that's amazing um secondly when I left my mechanics I went to the library and I called my dad and he told me he's moving on Friday Saturday Sunday it's not this Friday because that's today it's next Friday so Friday and Saturday I'm going to be busy helping my dad so if Dan and Liberty want to come up here uh, I'm gonna be helping my dad move so you can help him move he lives on a he's moving to a third story floor third floor so it's gonna be lots of moving and walking upstairs and I don't like I don't want you guys to come out here and like help him if we're gonna be exhausted and we're not gonna get any work done on the land that doesn't make sense but I just wanted to update you with my schedule because now what it is is tomorrow Saturday and I'm gonna wake up early go to Hyde Park get pallets go back to Stowe get pallets do that empty all the batteries all that I'll have a video coming tomorrow Sunday I'm actually not going to work I have to call out tomorrow because I'm going to a birthday party at I feel like I was peer pressured into it by my sister. You know how your sisters, I don't know if your family does this or anyone in your life does this, but you know how people are like guilt trippy about like, oh, maybe like so special if you can, like all that stuff. So that happened and I felt bad and I was like, okay, fine, I'll just go. And plus it's at J Peak and you know, J Peak Water Resort, hey, <laughs> you gotta love her mom for that. So it's going to actually be a super blast and like it's my family too so it's it's going to be lit okay let's just be honest but it's also not going to be that lit because it's going to be at J Peak so there's not going to be any drinking and smoking which usually happens at children's birthday parties but it's it's going to be a good time and it's going to be fun so I'm going to call out of work so that means when I get paid I'm getting paid for two days like I get paid bi-weekly and I'm gonna get paid for two days because I missed last week in North Carolina and then I'm gonna miss Sunday so I'm only gonna work Monday Tuesday so like I said I went over Saturday you'll see the vlog tomorrow and then we have Sunday I'm not gonna work Monday Tuesday I'm working Wednesday because I went to my mechanics I'm gonna have part of my car fixed um, and I'm setting aside $200 for that. I also have 108 to pay on my insurance. So I'm going to be broke. I have like $100 to buy gas and food. So like, <laughs> it's a good thing I don't eat a lot. <laughs> I don't know. If I need money though, I'll make a video. You guys already know that. Um, <laughs> so Wednesday, I ha have to be in Northfield at 8.30 in the morning. Thursday is going to be like a rest day I'm hoping or getting everything done that I didn't get done in a week and then Friday Saturday I'm gonna be helping my father move so I'm gonna be moving lots of heavy things up lots of stairs over and over and over again and then Sunday Monday Tuesday I have work so that's like oh I wish I had my bullet journal with everything written down nice and organized so I can show you it but that's my schedule right now so I don't know when is a good time for you guys to come up here because um, that's what I'm going to be doing <coughs> um, I think I think that's all I had to say if you want to know what I'm doing for the rest of the night yeah I left my mechanics and I went to the library so I could edit and have internet access because I thought oh I could edit this and upload it ha <laughs> ha no that's not how my life works so <laughs> I went to the library I edited for like 20 minutes well I didn't even edit really I downloaded everything from my phone because that's where I filmed onto my computer and I put the clips in order so I started to edit then my sister wanted to ride so she says pick me up at 7 then she says no make it 7 15 I'm like okay 7 15 so I go up to her work she doesn't come out until like 8 5 <laughs> so I'm sitting in my car the whole time like come on Beth you gotta hurry up like this is crazy but I was editing so then I drop her off and I come to my house um, and now I'm still editing and it is currently 9 40 so I like threw a salad together and I have to 
do something else before I can leave. But I'm like finishing editing this and this is the last clip for my video that I'm making. And then I can go eat and chill out and then I'm gonna drive to the library and I'm gonna upload this with their internet and then I'm gonna go for a walk. And by then, by the time I get home, it's gonna be close to midnight because it's 9.41 p.m. right now. And if I eat food, which I should eat a salad, I just made a salad, I should just eat it. Um, that's gonna be like 10, I'm probably not gonna leave until like 10.30 to be realistic. Will I? Yeah, I don't know, somewhere around there. But anyway, oh yeah, the last thing I wanted to say, if you didn't gather that already, is I'm probably not going to be making any kind of land contribution money-wise for like the next three weeks because I miss so much work. And even when I sell my car, like junk it and get $200, um, I'm not going to... Um, really have any extra money because of all the work I missed so like and now also the other thing is my car insurance is 108 a month and I'm not used to paying any monthly bills and also oh yeah I have to pay my phone bill that's gonna be off in two days if I don't pay that so <laughs> <It's a lot. laughs> so we'll see what happens subscribe to my channel watch my life fall apart and also come together in the most miraculous ways that only the most high could do because he's out of his mind <laughs> so yeah that's all shalom